I need to find all of the keywords that my customers are looking for, as well as everything my competitors are ranking for, and I need it yesterday. Thankfully, with a couple of tools, it makes it really easy to get this information very quickly. Okay, so let me just firstly orientate you with this sheet. So essentially, the green tabs here are all of the output tabs that you're going to use to actually get the information all cleaned and ready to use. So for example, we can see here we've got all of the keywords, how difficult they are from a score of 0 to 1, how many searches every month they're getting, and then some real basic analysis on how much money we think we're going to make from them uh, every month. Um, next up we've got seasonality, so I can see when I need to post my content based on the month, and then of course the keyword list itself plus working out if we actually rank for any of these terms or not. So for example, this term has got this associated landing page, so we're fine, but you can see all of these terms do not have landing pages, so we probably need to make them. Okay, so let's get into how it all works. The first tab is the setup tab. So here what we wanna do is we wanna take all of the major keyword categories that we wanna rank for. So this is a homewares brand, so what I'm gonna do is take some of their top uh, keyword categories and put them in here. The way that I find keyword categories is really easy. First and foremost, I go to Search Console, their performance report, go to Queries, and then I simply just download their queries. And once you've got your queries, all you're literally doing is taking the big list of them, copying them, going with this really t uh, great tool called Keyword Grouper Pro. Um, all you're doing is putting them in there, give me a minimum group length of the amount of keywords, um, add any keywords you want to exclude, um, maybe it's the brand name for example, which I'm going to put in here, set excluded words, and process that out. So what we can see here is essentially they've given us all the top level groups of all the products that this particular person sells. So we've got bedside, floor, lights, pendant lights, etc. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to export this and I'm going to get it into my main sheet. Alright, so once we get back to the main sheet, we're going to take those top level categories from Keyword Grouper Pro and put them in here. And then we're going to do something slightly magical. We're going to use super metrics and we're just going to click the big refresh all button and that's going to pull all of the information we need from SEMrush. Alright, so now that all that's done, let me walk you through the raw data sheets by going first to ph underscore SEMrush. So what this has done here, ph stands for phrase match, it's essentially just pulled all the phrase match queries for each of these keywords inside of the keyword categories tab and it's just threw them into these columns here, which is great. So this is just a big massive dump of the first 5,000 keywords that are phrase match related to the term lamps, sofas, tables, etc. Next up, inside of the related searches, we can see here that we've got all the terms that, that SEMrush think are related to all of these keywords in the setup here. Uh, again, the exact same format, top 5,000, just dumped straight into these columns here. So that's all great and everything, um, but what we need to do is get it into one single column so we can start editing it and cleaning out the data. Um, so you'll notice here that when you click on this error no data found, um, it's using a formula called unique. So all unique essentially does is it goes to each of the phrase and related match and it pulls it into these columns. So if we were to redo this formula, you'll notice it's got squiggly brackets, that's because it's an array formula. Um, so it's unique, bracket, squiggly bracket, then we're literally going to go to our first one and we're gonna select from here to here semicolon here to here and we're essentially just gonna rinse and repeat this process for not only the um, phrase match but also all of the related match stuff as well so you can see that when we go back to this what it's done here with all those unique things being pulled in it's taken all those columns and columns of data and it's put into one single column which makes it much easier to work on um, you can see here also that it's attempting to tag it up all this is doing is a nested if is number search, which is here, and all it's saying is if you go to setup and you find any of these keywords inside of these cells, then call it that keyword. So it's kind of like a little auto tagging thing just to kind of help us along. So what we're going to do from here is we're literally just going to copy all of that out. And there's this thing called edit these keywords, which is literally just a clean um, copy paste so we're going to delete the old data in there first and we're going to do control shift v in order to get everything pasted in like that okay so next up you can see here that we've got all of the seasonality data in here but it's in one column so we need to go tools and then we need to go data and we need to split those text 
into columns as you can see it's done the, that there and then we want to name them as the different months okay so once we're happy with the general raw data collection what we now want to do is edit these keywords as it suggests so in here you're going to see a bunch of stuff that either your client doesn't sell or is really just not related to you so what you want to be doing is just indiscriminately just taking big chunks of out and deleting a bunch of it and also going in and you know tagging it up for different items and things like that so this is the only real manual bit of the process that you need to go through so go through get rid of the stuff that doesn't um, apply to you and tag up the rest of your terms and it's literally as simple as that so when we now look at our keyword list what we can see is of all of these different terms here we can see that ah actually for the term bedside tables cool they've already got a landing page but it's slash table lamps not slash bedside tables so we could probably make another one for that that says bedside tables and actually enhance the rankings for this particular one um, and we can see for a bunch of their other stuff they don't actually have any landing pages for it now you may be thinking well where am i actually getting all of this landing page information well it's super simple so essentially you'll see here we've got something called sc keywords sc stands for search console so when we go up to the top here what i've done is i've pulled it in via supermetrics again i've done that by going to supermetrics then into the sidebar and then what I've done is I've selected Search Console as the source, I put my client's website in there, I've taken the last 90 days of data, um, and here, here's the most important part, split to rows by search query and the full URL. You will not get this when you just download it from the main interface, I want to see all the queries and all the landing pages side by side. The reason why I want that is because inside of the keyword list, let me just show you how this works. All this is doing is an index match. So all it's saying is, look for the keyword football tables inside of this search console dump. And if it exists, put the URL in there. If it does not exist, say no landing page. So what you can see here is we're very quickly able to crosswalk all of the keywords that we can see in the marketplace with all of the keywords we're currently ranking for and the related landing page. And that's it, that's all the information you need that's gonna tell you the pages you need to create to rank better inside of search. All you need to do is a hard bit and actually go make the content. Super fast keyword research, done.